Hey there everybody, it's Mega Draco coming to you with another video, and in today's video we're actually going to talk about the Halloween sale again. So I noticed you guys really liked my Halloween sale video, and I've gotten lots of views and lots of thumbs up for it, and I've even gotten a couple of extra subscribers from it. So I figured what I would kind of do is do something a little bit similar for you guys on that every week as best that I can. Um, now obviously, of course, depending on sales, I might not be able to do one, but... I will do my absolute best to go look through the sales, go go do some actual research on this kind of stuff, and actually give you guys my opinion on the best purchases and the best buys and everything like that. So what I wanted to kind of do was we'll do a little bit of a follow-up on my previous video, which actually does a little bit of a comparison between two different Halloween sales, one being for Steam and the other one being for GOG Galaxy, another actual uh, product source that I use to purchase video games. So let's go on and get right into it. So taking another quick look at the Steam page, we can see that they've actually changed a couple of the ones that they have on the front. Uh, for example, they changed out Vampires of the Masquerade now on the front. Uh, Get Even, I believe that it was not on the front page like that. I do not remember Conarium or anything else along those lines. Um, but that is something that's too important to look at when it comes to looking at these games. There might be a game you didn't notice the first time you looked at something. So that you, it's always a good idea to come back um, every day. If you haven't found a game that you, that you like, maybe come back the next day, look through it one more time, and maybe you'll just notice a game that you didn't notice. Uh, however, we're not going to be going over Steam as much this time around as we are GOG Galaxy this time around. We'll compare both of them in a little bit, but let's focus on GOG first. So as we can actually see over here on GOG, they've got a lot of very similar games. Uh, as we can see, Vampires the Masquerade, uh, Darkest Dungeon right on the very front, Soma, same thing on the very front page, as there, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, I do want to point out that this was, in fact, found a little bit differently from the way it is found over on Steam. Uh, when you actually look at this page, this is what the original Halloween sale page looks like. So you're not getting quite as much uh, example of what it is that you're really getting while for sale. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go up to here on Store, go all the way down to New, new Releases, Best Sellers, and then On Sale. And that will show you everything that's currently on sale on GOG Galaxy. Um, now, this does, of course, mean these will be games. Not all of these games will necessarily be games that are on sale for the Halloween sale. But that's not necessarily a bad thing either. So, definitely an important thing to actually keep in mind. Now, uh, a lot of these things are going to be very the same. Like, let's be honest here. Most people can only arguably give out so much of a discount f per game as it is. So a distributor may only be able to give out uh, so much of a discount for one game, whereas another distributor may be able to give out a discount a little bit higher of a discount for the same for the same game. So it's so that's one of the most important things to actually look at. Now, over here on GOG Galaxy, for example, I want to show off that Darkest Dungeon is being sold for $9.99. Uh, but it's only the Darkest Dungeon game. The actual expansion pack is down here. Um, as you can see, Crimson Court is being sold separately at $7.99. Now, if you click on Darkest Dungeon, very similarly to the way it is in Steam, you can actually see all of the other editions that they may have, all the other bundles and other things that you can maybe get for the sale. And that's exactly what you want to look for when you go and look at GOG or Steam. Uh, you do want to look at each individual game directly so that way you can get a better idea. Now, the Darkest Dungeon I want to show off exactly the more, more than anything because I want to show off that they have the Ancestral um, back package over here um, for $21.97 which is basically going to give you the original Darkest Dungeon game, whereas it's also going to give you the soundtrack, which I don't think a lot of people necessarily dislike, but necessarily use. But if you like it, you know, there you go. And then it's also going to give you the Crimson Court DLC. Now, if you do the math here, and you're not really the big fan of the, of the idea of the soundtrack, you can, of course, just purchase just the, the regular version and the Crimson Court separately and save yourself, like, a pretty good chunk of money, about five bucks or so. Uh, but you could also, of course, use that extra $5 to go and get the extra DLC, the Shieldbreaker DLC, which would be, of course, fairly useful. That, that would be my strongest suggestion over here. Now, one of the things I do want to point out, though, 
So over here on Steam, we can see that Darkest Dungeon is also for sale, and it's got the bundle up here and ready to go. However, the biggest difference here that I want to point out is that when we click on the Ancestral version, it shows that this also includes the Shieldbreaker DLC, meaning you're spending about $2 more. So if you're actually wanting to get the DLC um, as well, all of the DLC, as well as, of course, the soundtrack, you might very well be better off actually purchasing the Ancestral Bundle over here on Steam than buying the Bundle over here on GOG and then buying the Shield Breaker separately. However, again, if you're not wanting to purchase that, you can, of course, purchase uh, the actual like games over here. Uh, for the same general price. If you want to buy each one separately, you want to buy, for example, Darkest Dungeon separately, the Crimson Court separately, and the Shield Breaker separately, and all have it all together in its own little bundle, you will technically be saving money, but you will be spending the same amount of money you would on GOG or on Steam, so that just goes off to preference. That That's something that's very important to actually pay attention to, though. But in the long run, if you do want to purchase the pack, my suggestion would be to purchase it over here on Steam because of the fact that it is going to be saving you just a little bit more money overall since the overall price of the bundle on GOG is $21.97 and then on top of that, the Shield Breaker would bring it up to about $25. Whereas over here, you're only spending $23.36. That's only about maybe $2 you're saving, but it's still $2 you're saving. That's $2 you could be spending on, say, Outlast, the original Outlast. That's only a $4.99 game, so I mean, that's what I'm, that's the thing that you really want to take a quick look at. Now, coming back over to GOG, I just want to go on ahead and say that I believe both sides in both games are actually very good. One of the things I actually really like about GOG is that it offers you the ability to purchase a lot of very old games. Uh, for example, Neverwinter Nights is something I couldn't actually find on sale over on Steam very often. I could find on sale over here on GOG, so I would definitely suggest checking them out if you have the opportunity to. They're a good alternative to Steam, um, and though I would never probably stop using Steam, I would definitely say that having GOG as a secondary, especially to do comparison shopping when it comes to video games, because some games may be on sale over here on GOG, whereas they won't be on sale over on Steam, you might be able to have an opportunity to actually purchase a game uh, for a lot less than you would have if you just purchased it on Steam or if you just purchased it on GOG. So I'm going to go ahead and end it up there. I am going to leave it on one little note. Um, though, as you can probably tell from a lot of the games I was showing off, a lot of the sales are very much alike. But the big thing is, is that you really want to pay attention to the little things like the way we showed with Darkest Dungeon, where you could actually get a little bit more for a little bit less. So you definitely want to keep your eyes open for that. I am going to go on ahead and wrap it up there. I certainly hope you guys liked it. If you did, go on and hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that share button. And of course, if you loved it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you'd really like to keep up with all my streams, go on and hit the bell button. Or you can also follow me over on Twitch. That would be perfect as well. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't forget to have fun.